In Brooklyn, I met a man whose life's work is dedicated to something we often look at, but rarely see. There's this whole weird secret thing 90% of people never really even think about. And so, that's framing. Yeah. My name is Thorin Vidala. I'm the owner and operator of Make a Frame Atlantic Avenue and Bedford Avenue. We are a custom frame shop, one of those neighborhood institutions. So people come in with their art of all kinds, and with it, you make art. Yeah. You wrap art in art. Yeah, that's how I like to think about it, although I, that sounds that sounds pretentious and cocky, but I, I, I do think <laughs> of it that way. I get really excited when somebody plugs down their thing, and it's always something they care about. And that's I a cool it. way to learn about people. Yeah. It's like, here's an artifact from my life. These how old is the artist? The artist is two and a half years old. Is it vertical or horizontal, or what are we, what are we thinking? So, I asked my daughter, I thought it would it was that, but she said it was that. Sometimes it's actually fun to do something kooky like that. It's kind of silly, but it, it sort of gives it, it gives it a completely different take. You know? Yeah. I spend a lot of time looking at the frames at museums when I go see art. Everybody thinks they want like a white frame like the MoMA has, but if you just say flat white, it's always wrong. It's always some shade of cream. Huh. Or a piece of art or the photo gives you your bracket. So. You try not to go past the brightest bright, you try not to go past the darkest dark with your frames. You convert people, in a sense, when they come in and they say, I want a black frame, and you come back with, well, which of these shades of black frames That's do right. you want? Yeah. And they probably laugh in the beginning, and then... Yep. This, is a, this is a very common occurrence, but by the end of it, they get it. This is considered a floater frame. The canvas is resting inside of it, almost like a tray. What were you thinking that you could bring out? We felt like this color really nailed it. It's a gray wash over solid cherry wood, the whites, the greens, just get to fly out on their own. They look much more vibrant with that muted frame. This is the same wood, it's just like bright orange Whoa. and how different that makes the art look. Totally. Um, it overpowers it. What's the typical price range? For most medium-sized things, 250 and off. I mean, if we're doing museum glass and all kinds of little details at the corner, it could be six, eight hundred dollars. What would you say to a skeptic who says that's way too much for a frame? I would say that a uh, you know, a couch costs three thousand dollars to begin with, and it lasts for less than a decade. And you know, spending eight hundred bucks on something that you never have to replace seems like a pretty good deal to me in that case. Everybody remembers this from uh, the internet meme from a few years ago, where the the, the dress was it was it black yes. and blue, whatever it was. That was a, an amazing like world paying attention to what I think about all the time. And I was like, oh, you guys, this is like what I do. Like, <laughs>